Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about six things that passengers do that drive Amtrak staff crazy. We have personally seen all of these things we're going to mention <laughs> happening and we've actually talked to the staff about it afterwards and they're like yeah that does drive us crazy so hopefully these aren't things you're gonna do you may be kind of surprised maybe you've seen some things that drive staff crazy too and you can add those in the comments for us too <laughs> but the first one is that passengers will get on a train in either coach or business now this would be a train where there's assigned seating and they'll walk up to their seat and someone is in the seat next to them and they'll see two empty seats behind this person and they'll just sit there instead. And thinking there's empty seats, the train's not full, I will, I wanna have my own row to myself. Well, that's all fine until the next station when the people get on that and there's two people and they're in, there's, they see that someone's in their seat. Well, nobody wants to really cause a problem and confront the person or go get the attendant. So then they just find two other seats that are open and sit in those. <laughs> and then eventually, after about four to five stops, everybody in the train is on the wrong seat and the entire train is full. And I have seen the attendants just going crazy, like saying, all right, at the next stop, everybody has to get up and go to your assigned seat because every single person that gets on cannot find their seat. And it, it, was a, it was a big, huge mess. He was just like, all right, that's it. This car is a mess. You guys have to get in your assigned seat. We kept watching people like getting on, like one post person will get off, another one will get on. A couple went to the the observation car and someone thought the seats were open even though they were assigned seats. I mean, it just kept getting worse and worse. worse. And he had just, he kept coming back. His people would say, hey, somebody was in my seat. So I sat here. Okay, okay, okay. And then the next thing you know, the entire train car was a huge mess. So when we did stop, he, it was like a big shuffle in the train car to straighten the whole mess out. Yeah, so don't, don't be that person that thinks it's just one seat. It's going to set off a snowball of effect that is going to cause the whole train to go into chaos. Uh, the next one is, this is kind of crazy, but almost all of the sleeper cars, except for rooms in them, except for the family uh, bedroom, only allow two people but you'll see people try to sneak a third person in they'll get one sleeper car for two people and they'll have someone in coach and then they'll try to get a third person in there first of all where are they sleeping if it's a room at if it's in a bedroom i can see they're just kind of trying to sleep on the floor but it does drive staff crazy because they are not supposed to be back there and you'll see them get caught almost every time <laughs> yeah uh i think that you know, people think to themselves, oh, I have like a teenager and I'll just have them be in coach and we're going to get a sleeper and then we'll just work it out. We'll just kind of rotate, you know, our teenager into our room and then we'll try to, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff. So the attendants do get really, you know, frustrated when people do that because they have a roster of all of the people and they have a plan for a rotation of everything. And then you throw an extra person in, in there and they're just like, wait, where did you come from? Like they have an actual roster of every person that's in there because as you recall, when you bought the ticket, you put in the names for the people that were going to be in the room and you know, you got an extra person in there. They're like, there's only two people in here and this isn't one of the people. They're going to catch you. So um, definitely refrain from doing that. <laughs> yeah, they, people always think they're going to get away with that one. But mm -hmm. and they said, we'll just have them come back here at night to sleep. They usually almost always get caught. So <laughs> the, the attendants do talk to us about that sometimes on the breaks when we're just kind of chatting with them. This next one is also crazy, but... People trying to cook in the sleeper cars. We have seen people bring walks into the sleeper cars. We have seen people try to set up mini kitchens. These are just things that you mm -hmm. should not and cannot do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the latest one was a hot kettle, you know, mm. to boil water. And honestly, you can just ask them, like, if you desperately need it for, 
you know, whatever, making tea or whatever, you can get hot water from them. So don't try to bring a hot water kettle with you. Do not try to bring, you know, a small griddle to cook things. And for the love <laughs> of all things, do not bring a wok um, to your room. It really is a huge problem because it is a huge hazard for everybody on that train car. You think to yourself, oh, I'm responsible. I'm going to turn it off. I'm not going to leave it plugged in. I mean, I get nervous even using like my hair dryer or something. I'm like, let me make sure it's, you know, cooled off before I set it down anywhere. I try to hold it up and make sure that it's nice and cool before I put it back in my bag. Imagine if you're trying to cook something, you bring a wok or whatever in there and it's gonna be hot for a long time. Something falls onto it. You know, the train is moving all the time. It's not like it's a smooth ride either. So mm -hmm. definitely something that's not just annoying also because of, there's going to be smells then in the entire, you know, train car. But aside from it being annoying, it is a safety hazard, a very big one. Okay, this next one we've seen up close and it kind of is like sneaking a third person into the room. But this one is rotating people into the dining car. So what they will do in this instance is there'll be two people in the sleeper car. They'll have the teenager and coach. And so because... They've been putting people to sitting at tables together in the last few years. We would be eating dinner with a couple from uh, another sleeper car, and that was all great and fine. And we just kind of noticed that they weren't eating their whole meal, though. They were each eating about two-thirds of their meal, and then they kind of, like, saved the rest of the meal. And we were like, well, that was kind of strange. Why did they kind of save the rest of that meal? And turns out they were taking the rest of that meal back to coach to give to their daughter, which, you know, whatever, that's fine, I guess. But then the next day for dinner, it was, we showed up and it was the, the mom and the daughter were sitting with us. And then the dad was back in coach. And again, they only ate two thirds of the meal and then they took the meal back to the dad. And so they were kind of rotating three people through the dining car and the sleeper car and like ferrying food back to coach, which they didn't really appreciate that very much. They don't. It's not, you know, like a hard and fast rule, but it's just really un unsavory <laughs> thing to do to, you know, try to slide that, that third passenger in and then pay a lot less because then that's the type of thing that causes prices to go up. So it was interesting, and I just thought it's kind of crazy because you're paying, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for the brunette, and it's literally like four or five dollars for a meal from the cafe. So it didn't seem like that big a deal, but you know, uh, just something probably to think of not uh, doing. The next one that drives staff crazy is any late night problem. So if you think about this, the staff they are going to sleep very late and then they're the first ones up so when we're riding overnight on amtrak after a couple nights i'm thinking to myself i didn't get enough sleep i, I want to you know sleep a little <laughs> longer well they're getting even less sleep so when you cause a problem or someone causes a problem at one in the morning two in the morning three in the morning they have to get up to take care of that problem or if you you know buzz them in the middle of the night for something that really was unnecessary they have to get up to take care of that. And they're only probably getting five to six hours of sleep anyway. And so that really does cause a problem if it's an unnecessary thing. Now, if it's an emergency, that's a completely different situation. But when you're causing kind of unnecessary problems in the middle of the night, that does drive them crazy. Yeah, I think sometimes people mistake the button in their sleeper car that says, you know, call attendant with a butler service, and it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are not at your beck and call. Uh, they're there to help you through the process. They're there to help you with the things that you need help with. But when you're just, you know, being silly or whatever in the middle of the night, you're, you know, actually causing problems for the staff people. So try to refrain from pushing that button if you don't actually need it. Yeah. Uh, the next one that drives them crazy and everyone crazy is people leaving a huge mess. And we've seen this. We saw the family bedroom just torn to pieces one time when we got off. And 
And it was pretty bad because if you're in the room at right next to the family bedroom, you can hear everything going on in there. We could hear everything going on in there. We were not surprised when we looked in after they got off that, that it was just an absolute mess uh, based on the kinds of things that were going on in there that we could hear. But then the attendant has to come through and clean that up because there is no cleaning crew mid-trip. They will clean the train after the trip, but during the trip, all the mess that is made has to be cleaned up by the attendant that is assigned to that car. Yeah, and I think that people think to themselves, oh, the attendant doesn't have that much to do. He can just, you know, clean this up or whatever. But the attendant actually has a ton of stuff to do. You are going to see your attendant zipping up and down the hallways. You'll probably usually hear them because you hear the jingling of their keys mm -hmm. <laughs> as they're zooming up and down the hallway. But they're taking care of people, switching things out, preparing things for the next. Because people switch out, you know, from the sleepers throughout the whole trip. And, you know, this particular instance was crazy because not only did they make an enormous mess, the attendant was actually kind enough to let them get away with having an extra person in there because it was a kid. And then he's like, you know, I did a nice thing for them by letting them have an extra person in here and this is how they repaid me. And, you know, we felt so bad for our attendant because he was absolutely amazing the entire ride. And this was actually a challenging ride because it was running behind by quite a bit, like six hours or something like that. Um, and this attendant just really was going above and beyond for everybody to keep everybody happy and just kind of, you know, keep providing great service throughout. And it was just really disheartening to watch people walk out. Like it looked like they just took a bag of goldfish, crushed it up and just emptied the whole bag in the room. It was just kind of blew my mind that you would walk out of a room like that and not even bother trying to clean it up. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's most of the things we've seen. Let us know in the comments, what are some of the things you've seen that would drive staff crazy? Hopefully not things that you've done, but things that you have witnessed. <laughs> yeah, don't admit to anything in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know what you've seen. You can say, I saw a friend do something, uh, and we'll know what you mean. But uh, let us know what you've seen. Leave us a like on the video. Leave us a comment, and we will see you on the next video.